All right, as you can see, we have the turbo out. I did have to take this center intake piece off as well because the turbo was hitting that. I forgot all about that on the removal stuff, but we did get everything else out and try to show you. That's where the oil feed line goes right there. You can see where that plug that's got the F on it is. And right beside it is the turbo oil feed, if I can talk. But that's where that goes. It's two 13 millimeters right there. And you do have this line that's right here that goes on. That is one of your feed lines for your oil. But it'll move out of the way for you and all that stuff. So you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, hitting too much and then one of the coolant lines goes right here and bolted into the left or right intake manifold I'm looking at opposite way but on your right side intake manifold it bolts in right there and that's the coolant uh, feed line I believe but it uh, goes in right here and then it's got uh, this clamp that goes on the opposite side of it and it just goes around now I do have the turbo sitting on the tailgate beside the new one because we have to switch over some stuff. So here's the old one right here. We're going to, have to switch over some stuff. There's a sensor right here. These two lines and then the turbo oil return line system. But you have two uh, banjo bolts right there. And then it's held on with a nut right there and then this line right here will come off and there's a bolt right there that will take this one off and i did get a gasket kit for this this is it right here and the part number is gs33937 the only place i had this was partsgeek.com everybody else was out of it uh, even like thoroughbred diesel and a few other places like diesel places they could not get it in for a few weeks so that is one thing to keep in mind make sure you order your parts ahead of time that give you plenty of time to change out everything but i'm going to go ahead and start removing some of this stuff and switching it over and i'm going to film it but i'm just going to speed it up for y'all Okay, so we got all the lines and everything switched over and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually flip it over, set it down, and I'm actually going to put some, I'm actually going to put a little bit of oil down inside of here and rotate the 
turbo and we're going to make sure that there's oil in it before we actually put it in the truck and try to start it up like i said there is another sensor that goes right here but we're going to do that once we get it in the truck as you can see we got it pretty much all back together only thing i got left to do is put some coolant in there check all the fluids just to make sure everything is good and then we can try to crank it up and make sure that the sound is gone but like i said I showed y'all, uh, actually maybe it would show you a little bit better now that the turbo is off. Because here's the old one. Here's the old turbo right here. Um, let's see if I can get y'all to see this. I don't know if y'all can see it moving up and down. But it does have a good bit of up and down play. And I can even move it back and forth just a hair more than I think that you should. But like I said, uh, oil feed line here, coolant lines right there, and then or that's oil return, not feed. And then your oil feeds on the top. Then you have your sensor that goes in right there, as you can see. Then your exhaust and your intake. But. This is pretty much going to conclude how to put this turbo on or take it off. The re installation is just a reversal of the removal. But like I said, we're going to try to crank it up in the morning. I probably won't film it or any of that stuff uh, unless there's any weird noises or anything that still come up with it. But it should be good to go now because I did check the new one and there was no play in it like i said this is going to conclude this uh video i did get the turbo from uh i think it was extreme performance diesel like xdp extreme diesel performance something like that uh, i'll put a link up to it in the description but it is just a stock turbo it's not a stage two three or any of that type of stuff and i'll put a link up to the uh gasket set as well but if you like the video, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell like always. And if you got any comments, concerns, need torque specs, whatever, uh, hit me up in the comment section. And I'll get to them as soon as possible. And until next time, y'all have a great day.